meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, let's check out that forecast this evening. Clear skies for the most part over the next few hours. Then we'll start to see a little bit more in the way of some of those high level clouds move in down to 43 by the time we get to 11 o'clock. And checking out that forecast tomorrow, some increase in cloud cover, a little bit of sunshine mixed with the clouds, especially in the morning, and then more clouds into the afternoon. 52 at noon, 56 at 5 p.m. Still going to be a pretty nice day with those highs expected to reach the upper 50s, just not as much sunshine tomorrow. Still good conditions for viewers. Viewing the super moon this evening. That's about it for the super moon after tonight. Uh, right now at perigee, at least it was this morning, about 12 hours ago, around 6:30, with the uh, moon about 14 percent closer than normal. It appears larger in the sky, and also 30 percent more light coming off that moon. So you can check it out this evening. More clouds, as I mentioned, for Tuesday, but the dry weather pattern continues. And then look what happens at the end of the week. Temperatures well above normal. We could be close to 70 degrees again Thursday and into Friday. Friday, but tonight, heading down into the 30s, some areas even into the 20s over eastern and southern Ohio. A little more wind back our way should keep our lows mid and upper 30s around the Dayton area. And we'll find those highs tomorrow, upper 50s to near 60 in many areas, up around 60 on Wednesday. But check out the highs even warmer west and southwest of us, up around 70 degrees, Evansville, Indiana. So that's the warm air that's going to be headed up our way. Our time lapse tonight, the Troy Stouter Center. We are looking at uh, Nice sunset there. A few clouds out on the western horizon. Some of those will be headed our way. Stall vision camera picking up a few of those scattered clouds off to the west. But right now, looking at dry conditions there on Indian Ripple Road. Live Doppler 2 HD. It's dried downtown Dayton and all of Montgomery County. We are seeing some clouds with an upper level disturbance moving through the area, but uh, most of those to the east and north of us and west. But eventually, those clouds to the west will move in tonight. We're currently at 51 degrees. The South wind at six miles per hour, 38 percent the relative humidity. And our weather checkers tonight: Don Chateau in Sydney at 52 degrees. Tom Wyckoff, one of the cooler spots there at 50 in Springfield. Also, at Lowell Miller at 50 degrees in the Greenville area. Other temperatures tonight: already down to 41 at Wapakoneta, but most of the readings tonight upper 40s and lower into the 50s. Here's our cold front swinging in from the northwest. That will drop into the area tomorrow, but actually just kind of wash out as it moves through. Just basically bring us some cloud cover. Another front follows that, so that'll limit the warm up again on Wednesday. But after that, we'll really start to see the warm air come in from the central and southern part of the country. Tonight, partly cloudy, chilly conditions will drop into the upper end of the 30s, light southwest winds. Clouds mixed with a little sun at times tomorrow, a cool day, highs reaching the upper 50s. Best chance of the sun will be in the morning. More clouds as we go into the afternoon and some of those lingering in the evening hours. Upper 50s. At 4 o'clock, 54 at 6 p.m. And then your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast 43 Wednesday morning, high up around 60 with partly to mostly sunny skies. Sunny on Thursday, up around 70. It looks like we'll be close to 70 again on Friday. A slight chance of some rain going into the evening, a better chance of showers Friday night. Some showers around on Saturday and much colder. A breezy day too, and eventually some of those rain showers that could be scattered about on Saturday. May have a few flakes of snow mixed in going into Saturday evening. So, how's that for changing things real That's quick at the end of the four week? Four seasons in one week. Yeah. We're, we're doing it right there, it is. There's the forecast.